Right in the middle of it. This is this is textbook. This is how you're supposed to do it. We just overflew the midfield, so we're gonna fly this heading for about 30 seconds. In about 30 seconds, we're gonna do a nice 270 degree right turn, right onto the downwind. Now, we are about 500 feet above the traffic pattern altitude. So during this turn that's coming up, we're gonna actually descend 500 feet to. 1500 feet MSL for the traffic pattern altitude. Okay, just a few more seconds. Alright, power out. Let's do a nice steep uh, 270 degree turn onto the downwind. Let's make sure we don't speed up too much. Cow flaps are closed, carpet is on, landing light is on. So we just did our first green landing checklist. We're descending down to 1600 feet. There's the airport. We're at 100 knots. Let's report downwind. Kilo Alpha Juliet, Oscar, traffic, Cessna, November 8625, Charlie is on downwind, runway 25. Okay, so we're on downwind. We're at 1500 feet, and we are in the Corona traffic pattern. Just like that. There's Corona. It's actually a pretty short airport, so I'm gonna do a 65 knot uh, final approach. Okay, so we're beam threshold. Let's reduce power. First notch of flaps down. 85 knot airspeed. Remember, at this point, we start controlling our airspeed using our pitch. So we just pitch down for that uh, to pick up a little more speed. Let's check back once we are at a 45 degrees to the runway. Okay, we're 45. Turn on to base. Flaps 20 degrees. Airspeed 75 knots. Okay, we're on base. We're looking good. Let's turn on final, flaps 40 degrees. Let's slow the airplane down to 65 knots for the final approach. There it comes in, looks like we're high, that's okay. All we're gonna do is take out a little bit more power. We're gonna maintain 65 knots using the pitch. Uh, Corona runway is a very narrow runway, so the flare is going to look like we're higher. You got to know about the airport you're going to. Okay, we got 65. We got red over white. Let's add a little bit of power. Get on the glide slope. Look at the windsock. We got a little bit of crosswind, not too much. Okay, let's start the flare about right now keep the airplane floating touchdown keep that nose wheel up 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 okay touchdown nose wheel minimal braking and get off the runway as soon as it's safe so okay guys let's uh 
Let's look at a couple of pictures now. But let's uh, look at a couple of pictures. Okay, you can see where we took off from El Monte, turned on crosswind, turned on downwind, intercepted the 077 heading to the Pomona VOR. You can see we overflew the Pomona VOR. We kind of came back around, picked up a radial of 124 from the Pomona VOR. We flew over midfield at Corona. Did a nice 270 degree turn onto the downwind base final. And let's look at the final chart. So uh, there you can see it. There you go. We flew a base 6077 heading to the VOR. Then we flew a 124 radial from the VOR. Once we had the airport in sight, we did a basic uh, uncontrolled traffic pattern entry procedure. That was it, guys. That's as simple as that. Don't complicate it. Keep it simple, okay? Fly to the VR or fly from the VR. That's as easy as it gets, okay? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was kind of long, but I wanted to show you the whole thing, okay? Take care, and I'll see you soon.